Hi, I'm Tom Proctor. I'm a singer-songwriter, biker, cowboy, working man. I made this first album dedicated to the working men and women of America. This is my roots. This is where I'm, I'm back home. I come back home to make this video because this is where I know hard, hard working people that make their lives here, make their families. I wanted the album dedicated to that. My game plan was to load up my little street cube amplifier, my guitar, and everything on my Harley and just go across America. I'm playing backyard barbecues and, and um, you know, small barbecue joints and stuff like that. Because that is where I find the heart of America, the, the people that I can most connect with. Right now, the country's kind of heated about things politically, and they're kind of, there's a big, there's been kind of a disconnect in the country. And um, this music seems to bring it all together. We made this wonderful music video with people that were far right, far left, extreme red, extreme blue, and during the making of this, they all came together and they all realized we're actually purple. And people ask me where I stand politically and I say, I'm purple. But the one thing I do believe more than anything is I believe in America. We have the power, they don't have the power. Hi, my name's Mark, I'm a retired military helicopter pilot and a retired rancher. And uh, what I really like about this is I'm a big fan of Tom's philosophy about being purple. There's too much far right red, there's too much far left blue, and uh, this is all about middle America. Hey y'all, my name is Hannah Lee, and I've worked a dozen or so odd jobs already, and I'm only 25. And my husband's a network engineer, we're still living paycheck to paycheck, and it's starting to seem like these guys in the office don't really know where we're coming from. And I think the song is for people like me, for people like this. My name is Alex Sampson. I'm a full-time student up north in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, I, uh, I really like the song because it's about hard work and dedication and occasionally taking a break and having a beer. I just like beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was a hygienist slash housewife. And trust me, housewife was damn hard work. Hi, I'm Norm. I grew up on a farm, so I guess I probably worked most of my life. Spent two years in the Army during the Korean conflict. Mm -hmm. Worked in a, for a large mining company most of my life. Been retired for 22 years, and it is great. That's what this album was about. That's what the tour was about. And for sure, that's what the working man was about. The working man itself was mostly about my dad, Paul Proctor. He never missed the day's work. He just gave a thousand percent to his family, a thousand percent to his job, and even as he retired, he wound up working a car wash and different things like this, trying to make uh, things good for his family. The working uh, mom. It was written about my daughter, and then kids, no matter what you do, they're going to wait for mom to get home before yeah. they go to sleep. And I, you put them to bed six mm -hmm. times after that. Yeah, <laughs> six times. <laughs> it talks about dropping kids off at daycare with a quarter tank in her van. And she's come to realize can't rely on any man. You've got to have in your mind a bunch of broken promises and shit. The words seem to hit everybody. They seem to really, everybody seems to connect with the words to the song. From the working man who can't put tires on his truck right now because his kids started school today, to the retired man who walks to the grocery store and thinks about his life and the family that he raised that he might see at Christmas time. And everybody can join in on the last verse of this. That's like no brainer where in every chorus, the last chorus, I guess I should say, every chorus says, here's to you the working man, let's raise our hand with a beer. Make sure it's the local brand, 
because they make them see that we're still here. Same with the working mom. Here's to the working mom. Raise your hand with the beer. Always talking the local brand. Make them see that we're still here. And then it gets to the politician. And it says outright, to hell with you, politician man. Flashes. It's a good day. And I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here. And you think that you're going to pay your money and we're going to get something useful done. But sometimes a guy just needs to buy a yacht. God, <laughs> I'm using that for behind the scenes. Don't raise your hand with a beer because you got no right to the local brand because you don't even know that we're still here. And that is a true statement and it's up to us. It's up to the American people to make them see that we're still here. Hi, my name is Emily Holt. I am a third grade teacher, and I think this is a fantastic anthem for the American working class to let politicians and the public know that America is ours and we are relevant and matter. Hi, my name is Sharon. I used to do microelectronics until I became a wife and a mom, best job in the world, and I like this song because it's very relatable to everybody. Hi, I'm Rob. I built custom cabinets for a lot of years. I've worked in shipyards, I've worked in construction, I fixed computers, and I fought fire for about 10 years. I love this song, it's the story of my life. My name is Cameron, I'm a pizza delivery driver, and I like this song because America is the people and not the politicians. My name is Moran, and I like this song because it tells us how it really is. The politicians are not in touch with the people. They're only concerned with their own careers. And we matter. And we want them to recognize they need to be in touch with us. I almost come to tears every time I sing that when I'm playing. And I feel that raise your hand with the beer, make sure it's a local brand and make them see that we're still here. Because they're blind to it. They're, they think they're in charge. But they don't run the country. We do. We run the country. And we can run this country by simply loving and respecting each other. I was in a plane the other day and I hear this thing, announcement comes on. It is a felony to disable smoke detectors in the airplane. I thought, really? They had to make a law that said that? They had to make a law. We should have one law that says, be human, be kind, and love each other. And that's what I loved about the making of this music video. And, and, and that was the fact that... Um, You, you'll be able to see people in the scenes that were, did not really know each other, that were opposite views, that were everything, came together with that one common ground. The working men and women and the retired men and women of America. I, I, I can sit there, should I? I would just have you smack me around. <laughs> With those did. big beefy hands, I don't know if you'd want that. Just a couple hey, just knock we're me right into out. what we're into, baby. Knock me right out. He likes those big beefy okay, hands. Okay, I was rewarding him. I wasn't judging. <laughs> I likes what I likes. I like what I like. <laughs> of course, if I shoot that way, it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> he likes you. How you doing, you like You like Tom? You remember him and Benji? He like, I do wonder if it should be just a little bit forward so he's not struggling to get around the flags because I noticed that earlier. Would you, would you like that? Wasn't that a fat guy, Joe? You're not fat. That's not what I said. Okay, back up. He gets out of the car. Do you think he should like just smooth his hair and like straighten his tie just a little, like to make sure he looks perfect or whatever? No, I think he should go. 
This is, this is yeah, a, that works too, I guess. Yeah, very extend this. It says, he worked hard his whole life back when that, that restaurant was a mill. He can't turn his heat very high because he can't afford to be. So he walks to the grocery store and thinks about his life. <laughs> <laughs> so I want everybody to know, come here. Come here. See this? <laughs> Jordan, can help me lift this off? <laughs> put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. <sighs> it is actually full of ice and stuff. The Gatorade. Yeah, yeah. the Gatorade. Help me get it back up, Jordan. <sighs> so I just want everybody to know that our working mom is also part-time a superhero. Every day. Moms are full time. Every I hope you know. Moms are full time superheroes, I know. Here we go. you are a magician, man, don't raise your hand with me. I'm loving the fact that, you know, there's this natural chemistry there. Mm -hmm. Almost like you really were her mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a good actress. I can work with this that, one. You can work with this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, now the fat guy covers it. That works. <laughs> you're, you're not. You're just fluffy. <laughs> okay, guys, run faster and more excited, okay? No, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Go back. Go back. We got to say action first. <laughs> What I'll do is ride in the back with you, Tom, so I can keep it out of the track. Yes. Be a lookout. Yeah. Teamwork, baby. That is America. The shit you see on the news or fake news or if it is fake news or whatever it is, not America. We are America. I'm going to continue to do as many tours in small towns as I can. Uh, they're trying to set me up for some bigger concerts now, and uh, and that's great. But I will tell you, my if you put me out in front of 60,000 people, I'm still happier playing a backyard barbecue with 15, 20 people. I want to thank everybody that made this possible. And speaking of making this possible, it, I don't have the money for music videos. This is my second music video that has been put together because of the working men and women of America who says, hey, we'll help you. Hey, we're going to come do this for you. Rebecca Jackson has, is doing the editing on it. Jordan Hurd helps you can put this all together. And all of my, everything here, everything I wear, all of my bling and stuff has some meaning behind it. This chainmail thing came from a lady, Diane Nichols, who runs Linkage Company. And I'm at a biker rally. She walks up to me, this adorable, beautiful uh, young lady, and she goes, you're Tom Proctor, I know you. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm Tom Proctor. The last time I checked, I was Tom Proctor. And she goes, and I, I had got the, the wallet and what was, what was really funny, the wallet was a prop with a chain on it that they gave me in a movie set. So she says, you're Tom Proctor. You can't walk around with a cheap-ass chain on your wallet. And I said, okay, what do I do about it? She goes, I need to make you a chain now. I said, do you have one that I can buy from you? And she goes, I don't right now. I'll make it. Give me your wallet. So I said, okay. And I unhooked it, and I handed this girl my wallet. And uh, uh, so... What happened was they, one, one of my friends, I'm sitting there and I tell him, yeah, the girl took my wallet, she's going to, he goes, wait a minute. You handed, a beautiful girl comes up to you and tells you to hand her your wallet. And you hand her a wallet full of your cash, your credit cards, everything. And I says, yeah, I did. Yeah, it's America. 
<laughs> it, it's, it's like where I grew up. We didn't lock our houses. We left the keys in the tractor in case the neighbor needed it. And so, yeah, I did, and walked away for two hours. And I got, she did me a beautiful job with the chain mail. Then her husband forged this ring. It's he forged it out of a ranch. And I thought, that is the epitome of my roots. The working man. Then Brian Linford forges uh, his company. Yes, I'm throwing out shameless promotions here for uh, working people that, that really couldn't afford this kind of promotion. And I hope you all enjoy the song. I hope you enjoy the video. It'll be out soon. Uh, my manager, Helmut Wolf, is uh, planning a strategic release along with musicsandfilm.com. You know, for, for you guys that are doing music videos or doing music, musicsandfilm.com is amazing. They promoted my songs on radio stations in Hollywood, been held number one for, I don't know how many weeks, three, six? I, I think it was six weeks. And uh, Son of an Outlaw just got to number one. And so I'm really thrilled where, where my music's going. And just so you know where my music came from, I won the guitar and arm wrestle like six years ago. I have no damn clue what I'm playing. No idea whatsoever. I started jamming on it, making sounds, and I liked the sound, and it calmed me down, made me feel good. And I wrote songs. I, I, I put my fingers down until it sounded like a chord, and then I got two chords, and then I got three chords, and I just added the truth. And it worked. A dear friend, Michael Whitney, who played with almost everybody, probably one of the most amazing guitar players I've ever seen in my life, he helped me put together my own publishing company and um, what do you call it? Publishing and register with BMI and copyright. He, you know, he old hippie, old musician from way back, and knew all that stuff. And originally was going to be my band. We would, me and Michael were going to form the band, and we were going to go do this working man tour together. And then he had uh, cancer, take the love of his life. She got sick, and he just wasn't ready to go when I needed to cut the album. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with Michael in the future, and and uh, and I'm grateful for what I saw in him. There's a working man that lost the love of his life, and it gutted him. But being a working man, guess what? He stood back up. He stood back up and says, we're still here. And that's what we all got to do right now. It's our country. Make them see that we're still here. I hope every one of you enjoy the music video, The Working Man, and the album, The Working Man. Okay, here's to you, the retired man. Let's raise our hand with the beer. Okay, here we go. We're going again. <laughs> yeah, still recording. We're having a real conversation here.